hand of the Lord, arise and lead us in the right path. In the name of Jesus Christ, O hand of the Lord, arise and break the yoke of sin in our life. In the name of Jesus Christ, wherever we are fallen, O hand of the Lord, arise and lift us all. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. Good morning, happy new day, happy Wednesday, February 21, 2024. This is Love War, taking you open heaven, a guide to a close fellowship with God in our custom. Let's see, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Hallelujah, it's an evil language. Hallelujah song we never cease for our mouth in Jesus' name. Amen. The topic before this morning is the right hand of God. The right hand of God. I'm not going to find the book of Psalm 48, verse 10. I read According to the name, O God, is the praise unto the end of the earth. The right hand is full of righteousness. According to the name, O God, so is the praise. Unto the hand of the earth, the right hand is full of righteousness. I have come to understand that the difference between the right hand and the left hand is more than their position in our body. For example, in Matthew 5 verse 30, when Jesus Christ was talking about everything you must do to make sure you don't miss the heaven, he said, if the right hand offend thee, he could easily have said, if the right hand offend thee, if the hand, but if officials Exercise the right hand because of its importance. In Genesis 48, verse 8 to 20, when Jacob was to bless Joseph, so son, he deliberately placed his right hand on the younger son and the left on the older son. As a result of this, the younger son became more blessed than his elder brother. The Tahunami 33, verse 17. Now, if the right hand of a man is that powerful, then you can imagine how powerful God's right hand is since we are made in his image. Genesis 1 verse 26. Psalm 17 verse 7 says that God saves by his right hand. In other words, when a sinner is snatched from the jaw of hell, it is called right hand at work. This is why you must pray for God to raise his right hand on behalf of all your family members that are not saved. Furthermore, Psalm 139 verse 10 says that he led by his right hand. Isaiah 41 verse 10 says that God also uphold with his right hand. After he has saved you and led you with his right hand, he will also keep you standing with the same right hand. In Exodus 15 verse 6, the Bible says that his right hand is not just powerful, but also glorious in power. This tells us that God fights with his right hand. In Exodus 15, 11 to 12, the Bible says that his right hand has swallowed the enemy. In Mark 14, verse 62, the Bible tells us that the right hand of God is the right hand of power. The right hand of God is also where you will find joy and everlasting pleasure. Psalm 16 verse 11. Below, we should note, however, that only the redeemed can be at the right hand of God. Matthew 25 verse 34. If you are not yet born again, you better surrender your life to Christ now, because though are at God's left hand, suffer so greatly. They are the one who will agonize their teeth because of the evil they experience. Give your life to Christ today and get on the right hand side of God. Ready? I want us to read the book of Psalm 89, 
verse 8 to 13. And our Bible in one year, Deuteronomy 1, verse 2. Our hymn is in one. All hail the power, Jesus' name. All hail the power, Jesus' name. Our prayer point for today, Father, please reach your right hand on my behalf and let every enemy fighting against me be destroyed in Jesus' name. Father, please raise your right hand on my behalf and let every enemy fighting against me be destroyed in Jesus' name. And I pray my Father in heaven will raise his hand, his right hand, to help you in Jesus' name. Amen. But then, this is love war. Till I come your way tomorrow. Don't forget, subscribe to the channel, click on the like button, share with your friends and family, and goodness of God will never leave your life. Have a nice day and bye for now. God bless you. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah.